New this morning, college football fans have seen hundreds of replays this year, but do you really know how that process actually plays out? Well, CBS 42 News reporter Connie Gasquit got inside, got an inside look, and joins us live in Birmingham with details about that. Connie, good morning. Well, guys, if you're an SEC football fan, you've probably heard in-game announcers talk a lot about the process of official reviews. Well, the bulk of that process takes place right here at the SEC office in a room that is dedicated to making that whole process work. It's called the SEC Video Center, and it's the hub for all conference games each week. You see all the monitors they have all over the walls. They've got three replay officials here, among others, and those replay officials collaborate with the in-stadium officials at each game, and together. Together, they make the reviews on plays that need to be reviewed. They say it's mostly a calm atmosphere inside the video center, but it can get intense at times. The goal is to make reviews in an efficient manner, and they're getting better and better at that each year. We were right at a minute 15 on every on our average review this year, uh, which was very, very good and down really about 10 seconds from two years ago. So we've been able to shorten them and actually have better results. And this was year three of their collaborative replay effort where review officials here at the conference office collaborate with the on-field official. And that collaboration process is really just designed to make the review process as smooth as possible. And, you know, it, it is pretty smooth for the most part, but they do face challenges. And they told me about the one thing about this process that is more challenging than anything. I'll tell you what that is coming up in the next half hour. Live in Birmingham, Count and Gasquee, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.